Tonight, the Pokemon NASCAR Series hosts its second dirt race of the season as World Tour 23 continues in Veltins Arena in Germany. Jonathan Fitzwater is your pole setter in the number 47 tonight. We're going to do 40 laps this track with no cautions. This race will entirely be caution-free from start to finish. So if you rack out, well, it's going to be very hard to get back on top. Pace car onto the track. Oh, Wanderlei. Whoa, Wanderlei just walked to a bad start there. <laughs> Yikes. But anyway, again, it's 40 laps, no cautions. And the green flag flies here at Belton. Well, Wanderlei got the better start than Fitzwater. I'm not sure why they put the pole setters up high when the low line's obviously the advantage, but. Well, I don't want anything to break in this game. I guess that's how the game is supposed to be like. Again, this race again this race lasts 40 last 40 laps with no cautions, so they rack out. They're gonna have to pick themselves up, and it'll be really a, gonna be a tough challenge for leaders to get through lap traffic if they start to rack. Johnny Gardner right now last, but I Betcha this could all change in an instant as Dylan Thoreau goes for the lead. You see how small this track is, by the way. I mean, there's lot, really virtually almost no room for error. And there you see Lopez and Chris Dodd trying to get back on track, but just slip. Thoreau leads. Now more drivers getting off track getting back on track. Ben Braley tries to get on track as John Fitzwater spins. Wanderlei trying to overtake the 21 on the high lane. Just won't do it though. Lap 7. Wanderlei looks low. Uh, trying to get back the lead away from Dylan Thoreau. Now lap traps start to become factor top two spin. Wow, top two off the grass. And the lead is now Billy Bishop. Bishop, by the way, won earlier in Bruno circuit. He's looking to get his second win in three starts. And previously he hadn't had another victory in 20 seasons. It was 20 seasons since his last win. That was way back in Season 4. By the way, Orange City was the exact track in which he won at. For those of you that don't know what Orange City was, it was like a um, orange version, an orange track version of like, I think, Michigan or Auto Club Speedway. Any of those. Oh boy, they're wrecking. Oh man, now the mess continues and now things get interesting. New leader is Tony Green. Here comes Nichols. Leia gets off the track. Shelly off the track. This is now a complete jumbled mess, but these got fans are loving it. No cautions, so it's going to be do or die, this track. Brandon Nichols takes the lead, still looking for that first win of the season. Tony Green's looking for that third one of the season. Nichols has got to get through Kev Shearer. Ooh, contact, but... Not much of a problem, it's now Green is off track. Wow, Brandon Nichols leads, Luke Walker comes, picks it right back up, and now is second. Ooh, more cars off track. Now the Brandon Nichols getting held up by his own teammate. That's Chris Dodd right now in the 88. And why is Chris Dodd not making it easy on his teammate? I don't know. Now he finally gets by Chris Dodd. Ooh, contact! And Nichols is off track! Wow, I'm not sure why Chris Dodd was trying to take out... Oh, no, Luke gets in! He is hit. Oh! Hmm, oh, now I wonder, I wonder who the leader is now. Is it still Luke? No, it's Gabriel Wanderlei. Huh. Man, this has been a bumpy race today. Well, 
What do you expect this to be? Considering this, tr look at this track. This is the complete track of Milton's Arena. So, so short. <laughs> Sorry about that. Five is leading. Twenty-one is second. One and a half second lead for Wanderlei. More chaos in front. Ooh. 19, by the way, six. Leia Walker and Luke is eight. Could have been a big chance to make a one, two. Oh, look, oh, Wanderlei flips, slips. Green is involved. And the new leader, I think, is Dylan Theroux. Yes, it's Theroux. My goodness. This is what goes on board with these cars. Look at how really small this course is. Really small course. The road's going to have to let the six go. 47 2. Number four. And the 88. Oh, it's going to have to let the lap cars go because, well. Leia's closing in, trying to get by the lap car. She can't do it. Ooh, nice save there, avoiding Pichu, her own teammate. Ooh, ooh, Leia gets contact and spins. 21 has a little bit more breathing room, but now he slows up. And uh, Brandon Nichols is now second. Oh, wow. Roe, by the way, has a win this season. Nickel does not have a win. So it's a real big jungle for the 24. Look at how much cars he has to go through before he even can reach the rope. Oh, wow. Shelly spin, and now one car standing in the way. Oh, now no car. Well, still one car. Oh! Gets caught up in the mess. Now, ooh! Now Nichols is out of it. Oh boy, that's a tough break to get involved in a wreck like that. Where's 21? The row is still leading. Looking for that second win this season. Oh, whoa! The row is off the track. Yikes. He's able to stay alive, and now Benjamin Miles leads. This has been an insane race. Now second place is James Richardson. Richardson's a former champion, and now Miles is off track. And now Richardson has the lead. Wow. Another strange turn of events. 11 to go for James Richardson. If he can stay on track, cars are still flipping. Now we have 11 laps to go. Ooh. That's going to allow Leia Walker to close in on the 11. And do breaking. Now the 1947 is out of the way. So Leia Walker, one car. Now Gordon's going to have. Now Gordon's in her way. And Gordon, well, is just going to surrender. Oh, ooh, Leia spins. Leia spins, and she can't get back up. Second place goes to Peyton Beasley. I think Beasley was the previous winner from uh, Spa Franco Champs. Eight to go for Richardson, though. Oh, my goodness. Big mess. Now getting through Kyle Collins with ease. We have six laps to go. Seven, seven to go. And Beasley gets sandwiched. Oh, contact with Collins. Now Beasley's up high. And Beasley goes by. Now trying to close in on the 11. This could be an interesting race to the finish. Someone's smoking. Beasley, what a great job! Avoiding the carnage. 
Now Harrelson holds up his teammate. Five to go. Here comes Beasley. Just can't get there. Here he comes again for the lead. Four to go. Trying to avoid the carnage. Beasley trying to complete the pass. He does. Leia spins. Could he be the first three-time winner this season? Getting held up. Three to go. Going to be a good finish. And now Richardson. Going to have to avoid lap traffic. Beasley is really starting to pull away. Two to go. Beasley held up by Kramika Jensen. And now Richardson leads. Beasley got held up. Coming to the white flag. Richardson trying to hold on. One more to go. Ooh, more carnage. Richardson goes by. Down the final turns. Final corner. Richardson, great maneuver. And James Richardson is going to win at Velton's. What a race. James Richardson hangs on for the win here in the Velton's arena. Awesome. What a win for the 11 team. What a win for Joe Gibbs. And Richardson does it again, this time in the Velton's arena. One of the toughest courses in the schedule, but he's able to overcome that and win today. Here's how the results went. Only five cars on the lead lap. And here's the rest of the field. And I'm still looking for him on the... Oh, it was O'Neill Balvin. Oh, yeah, it was O'Neill Balvin that one last time. So I must have forgotten about him this race, but now I know. My apologies. But it's the third win of third win of his career. It is the it is the third it is the third win for the eleven of James Richardson. It is his it is career. I'm sorry about the stuttering. Anyway, it is his it is number it is career win number three for James Richardson. He's won a ra he's won a race he's won at least one race in his last two seasons as well. So three wins. Th Three, three seasons, three wins for James Richardson, former champion. And now, oh, I, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, so much champions, I must have forgot. But anyway, uh, we'll see you guys in our next race in the uh, Raceway Venray. Yeah, Raceway Venray. We'll see you guys there.